What up, Melvin7 here, and today bonus marquee matchups are out, European, and for a change, they're, they're not really that challenging, but they're a bit different than just having to have 11 players in the same league. So the first one we've got is Benfica versus Dortmund, one Benfica player, one Dortmund player, minimum of three rare players, 79 overall rating, so you do need to bear that in mind, you are going to need some higher rated cards, as you can see I've got in there, and players maximum from the same league, six, so... On one side, I've got Bundesliga. On the other side, I've got Liga Nos. The easiest solution, they might be a bit more now. Um, when people cotton on uh, to the requirements, these might be a bit more in terms of the players. But the Dortmund player I've got there is Sebastian Rode. And then the Benfica player I've got is Horta. And then, yeah, it's just pretty easy. And I just use players in my club. So you get a 25k pack for the... The rewards seem pretty decent this time. Um... Next one we've got is Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. This one you need to have at least three leagues. You need to have one Arsenal player, one Bayern Munich player, four rare players, and a minimum team overall rating of 81. Meaning you are going to need some higher rated cards, but as the one to watch SBCs are gone, the higher rated cards like the 83s, 84s don't really go for anything. Uh, they, they still hold a little bit of value, but nowhere near as much. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm slightly wrong. So it, it is a bit unfortunate, but you probably are going to spend have to spend a little bit on this. Maybe not as much as I have, but I just use things in my club. So I've got a Calcio A trio of AC Milan on this side for uh, one of the leagues. Then, of course, you need a Bayern Munich player. So I've went with uh, this goalkeeper here, Ulrich. Uh, I could have went with someone else, but I'm just using whatever's in my club. Uh, then obviously Howard Erst, Nastasic there. And then the rest of it, I've went with Premier League players. Uh, I've used two Arsenal players, which is an advisory as uh, they'll probably be going for a lot more now. Uh, and then the rest of them just players that way in my club. It's very, very easy. So we'll submit, submit that. 81 rated overall for that one. Then we've got Liga, Liga Warsaw, I think that's how you say it, versus Ajax. One Ajax, one Liga Warsaw player, four nationalities maximum. And uh, the team overall has to be 75. You only need 85 chemistry, so uh, all of these you can be done without loyalty. And um, the players in the area divisi are going to increase. So what I've done, I've got my uh, Ajax player here in terms of the centre back. Then I've got a couple of Netherlands players just to get perfect chem around him. Then I've went to League One because there's no uh, relevant marquee matchups at the minute for League One, and I've gone down the right and down the left with League One players. Very, very easy, and I recommend you do something similar. Pick a different league because the Eredivisie players are probably going to be a little bit more because people will think you need to use that. And now the last one, Zenit versus Alde uh, and Andelect. You need one of each of the players. You need 11 different clubs and a team overall rating of 76. The chemistry only has to be 85 again, so you don't need uh, any loyalty on this. So uh, the Andelect players I've got is Yuri Telemans. Then we've got the Zenit player in Danny. And basically, I've got Russian League on the top and I've got uh, Pro League on the bottom. And you just need to make sure that you have 11 different clubs. So I've got uh, six different clubs from the Pro League here. And then uh, at the top, I've got obviously five different clubs from the Russian League. So it, it requires you to think a little bit these marquee matchups. And yes, you are going to need some higher rated cards. So if I had to put a guesstimate on how much this is currently... In the current market, I'd probably say 50k, but uh, by the time you go and do it, players might be extortionate, uh, they might have jumped in value, so you do get really, really good rewards this time though, so we'll start off with these two 15k packs, we've got a really good team of the week in packs, of course, no other special cards, are, uh, unless the African uh, team of the tournament players are still in packs, but I don't believe they are, uh, this Dortmund player will actually go for a bit, so I'll, uh, actually I'll have a quick look. Yeah, it looks as though there's bids on him, so I'll just send him to the uh, transfer list. Then we'll move on to the next pack, which is again a 15k pack. And then I think we've got two 25s and a 45k pack. So the rewards, very, very good this time around. Um, we do get another Dortmund player there, but I'm just going to store that in the club. Uh, Showcross might go for a bit because of uh, the... Actually, no, that is not because of the Deli Ali SPC. Don't think he's that relevant for that. Uh, the Ferdinand Legend SPC he is, though. Um, as we get a Besiktas player, not something uh, we're really looking at there. Uh, get a couple of... Well, actually, all three of them were 81 rated, which is uh, a little bit interesting, I suppose. Next one, we've got 25k pack. Come on, give us something worth something that might be an 83 flare. It is not. I think he's 82. Uh, Sportelio. Am I right? 
Sorrentino, that was close. Um, do we have anything here? Uh, there's probably something there that goes for a little bit. Um, but yeah, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to store everything and sort it in my own time. Now, 45k pack to finish things off. And uh, yeah, that wasn't really that big of a flare, but it is Ashley Williams uh, who probably holds some value. So overall, if if I'd have pro uh, bought all these players, actually, I'll quickly check how much this dude goes for. Not a lot. Great. I'll just store everything in the club. Uh, if I was to do this um, by spending coins, I don't know if that was worth it personally for me. In terms of pack value, definitely, but in terms of what I got from the packs, I'm not really sure, but uh, it's nice that they're giving us an extra marquee matchups for the European fixtures. So let me know what you think. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.